No. It, it might not happen. Well, but it might. The point is, Greenlee did not kill David. So you're going to let Jack make it look like you did? That's insane, Ryan. The goal is just to gain reasonable doubt. That's it. Not to put me in prison, But, but Jack doesn't get to decide that. Jack is a very good lawyer, and he knows what he's doing. Right, yeah. Sure. Selling you out to save his daughter. What about your daughter? I would never bail on him. Ryan, how do you expect her to deal with this? She's already uh, lost his, uh, a stepfather. Now her father's going to be in prison? Look, I'm not going to let her come to that. Oh, but how are you going to stop it? Are you really willing to risk Emma growing up without you for this? For Greenlee? Look, she didn't do it. I can't let her oh, get locked Ryan. up for something that she didn't do. You can understand that, Annie. All I care about is Emma. You know what, there was a time where I wouldn't have believed that, but now I do. You're a good mom and you're raising a good little girl. All, all I'm asking, all I'm asking is for you to tell her that I'm going to be busy in court for the next couple of days. And for you to be strong and, and show her how to be strong. Can you do that? Okay. I will. This is from Emma and me. Good luck. I love Annie. You married her. But JR just can't leave it alone, can he? He can't stand to lose. He couldn't stand to see you happy while his marriage was failing. I am not talking to you about this. Well, there's no glory in martyring yourself or somebody who just wants to hurt you. This is not about JR. It's about you. Not being pushed around. Nobody is pushing me around anymore, Erica. Not even you. Me? Yeah. I'm only trying to help you. No, you're not. I get it. You're only doing what you feel like you have to do. Look, I know how many people I have disappointed. The shame and the anger, I have seen it on so many faces. But the one face that I keep picturing the most is my father's. And what he would say to me if he were around to see this. Scott, something tells me that if your father were still around, none of this ever would have happened. But he's not, and it did. I can handle it. And I'm not changing my mind about J.R. I'm taking responsibility for my own actions. Or what you did to Palmer was despicable. But I'm not going to waste my time judging you. That will not change anything. But I just want you to know that Caleb and I are here for you. Because you want to take down JR. We're here for you. If you need us. Erica, wait. Um... There is one thing you can do for me. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I just need a minute. Don't you have a business to run? I can work at night. Morning, sir. Uh, recent. If the jury sees you camped out here, they could get the wrong idea. Oh, no. I left my tent at home, so there's no camping. That's very funny. Thank you. You look good. You look, you look strong. Go home. Take Madison to lunch. Take her to Paris. Will you excuse me for a second? I want to get a seat while I still have the chance. So, are you ready? Greenling, it's not too late to stop this. We're not going to take a plea, Eliza. You are facing murder one. That's 25 to life. This is your last chance. Do you want to make a deal? There will not be a deal. Period. Don't say it didn't offer. Legal pads, files, notes, three pens, ballpoint, not felt tip, blue, not black. Please tell me that's right. 
And the streak continues. ADA Mitchell, you ready to kick some ass? Always. I'm not gonna let you down. All rise. Twice in one week. How did I get so lucky? I've just come from visiting Scott. Your husband has agreed to see you. What? Scott will see you down at the jail. Why did he send you? No, I sent myself. There's a reason why I'm involved. You want Cortland Electronics. Scott has taken the first step towards repentance. Is that what he told you? He told me that he's done something terrible and he wants to make up for it. Annie, is there something that you need to make up for? Not that I feel like sharing with you. You've put your little girl through hell. You have blown through relationship after relationship. And now, with JR, I'm sure he's making your life a living hell. Do you really want to compare sins, no, Erica? No, What I'm saying is that you finally have a chance to do something right for Emma, for your little girl. And Scott's trying to do something right. So help him. Help him finish the job. Serve JR up. You owe him nothing. I, I, I have to go see my husband. Yes. Well, Pete, you knew what you were doing. Eric and I are gonna get your company back. The Chandler family is about to crash. Now, David Hayward was no saint. But does that mean he deserved to be poisoned? Taken to an early grave because someone wanted him out of the way. Now, Greenlee Smythe Hayward was in a very volatile marriage. Her husband loved her desperately, and she was desperate to get out. Reasons that are going to soon become very clear. He actually pressured her to stay with him. The defense is going to try and distract you with stories of bribery and, and ex-lovers and forgery and lies and betrayal. This is a story about greed. I mean, it's greed. It's about a poor little rich girl who always gets what she wants. David Hayward, <laughs> he gave her what she needed. He saved her life. And he nursed her back to health for a year. Total dedication and unconditional love. I mean, that, that, that's what every wife dreams of. But not Mrs. Hayward. Because once she was back on her feet, she didn't need him anymore. She wanted out of the marriage, and she wanted him to let her go. But with David kicking and screaming, that wasn't enough. So, she used a lethal dose of digitalis. Now, Mrs. Hayward may have money and power, but she does not have the right to murder to get what she wants. I heard you had a lovely conversation with Opal. Thank you for reaching out to her like that. It means a lot. Come on in. Thank you. How to go with Scott? Okay, well, he hasn't actually admitted that JR is guilty. Not yet, anyhow. But I know that I poured some extra fuel on the fire. Who is only you can do? We'll get him. Is that optimism I hear? It's a fact. Well, I feel very optimistic myself. I feel so sure that we are going to get Cortland Electronics back and we're going to get justice for Palmer. As much as I hate to admit it, you're not always wrong. I'm sorry, can you say that again? 
Yeah, I think the old man knew what he was doing, pairing us up. All of those times that I called you a pain. No, 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 no. You don't have to remind me. You promised to rein it in. That was part of the deal. I was about to give you a compliment. Well, compliments are always welcome. I think I'll wait until I really need it. Thank you for letting me come see you. Yeah. How's Emma with everything? I haven't told her yet. This afternoon, I'm going to sit her down and... We'll get through it. How are you? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm okay. What... What does your lawyer say? I've been so worried about you. Don't be. I know what I have to do when I'm ready. To go to prison? Say goodbye. Well, that client was almost killed in a terrible motorcycle accident. She was in a coma for nearly a year. And she was paralyzed from the waist down. As extensive as her injuries were, the psychological, the emotional damage was even more devastating. David Hayward rescued her. He brought her back from the brink of death. He made her body whole again. Despite the prosecution's attempt to paint my client as an ungrateful brat, nothing could be further from the truth. The fact is, she loved David Hayward. Which is more than can be said for most of the people at the party where he died, many of whom had a motive, a strong motive, to get rid of this man that they considered a monster. Now, the, the prosecution here... They will string together a series of random events, the sum total of which amounts to nothing but speculation, because that's all the state has. There is not one eyewitness. All the evidence is circumstantial. There is not one shred of proof that my client killed her husband. As you may know, this is Ms. Colby's first trial as DA. Having been there, I can tell you that she is under tremendous pressure to bring a conviction in this case, even if it means imprisoning an innocent woman. Don't let her use you to do that. Thank you, Mr. Montgomery. We'll take a brief recess before the prosecution begins its case. All rise. Are you okay? Fine. We're we'll back in just a minute. Okay. Nice job. Nice job. Yeah, let's hope the jury thinks so. If they don't, I want you to know I will take the hit. I will do it. I will confess to killing David. <laughs> 